window now. To a, a rolling kitchen. Here it is. Here it is. It's going to be one of three videos. One of three videos. Of the, of the build. See how to do it because it'll be too much footage. But you can you can see the highlights of how I built this 20 foot trailer. Turn it into a fully functional kitchen trailer. There's a service window on this side. So I wanted to get it some shape and some curb appeal because if you're looking traditional, like this trailer was, you're not going to get no business. They're just going to drive you by and, and laugh at you. But if you give it some curb appeal, right, we're not even done yet. Or I'm not even done. If you get it some curb appeal, right, maybe, maybe, uh, you build it right, they'll come. So, in the front, I built a V, V nose to give us some extra storage inside, to give us some curb appeal, and also, most importantly, help when I'm pulling it behind my uh, my truck on the highway to help with the aerodynamics and the wind, so it's not pushing against against the trailer when I'm trying to drive forward. My locomotive. Seven bucks, right? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> seven bucks, try to try. He said, Jason, you gotta pre drill it. You gotta watch oh, the video, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> you, video. you gotta subscribe. You don't have to subscribe, but you can watch the video. Yeah. Nah, but what you do is you, you do a triple, small room, triple, half, half, then go back with your bigger triple, half, half, and then just slip that rivet in there. Yeah. And the ladder somewhere. That ladder goes up there, there's gonna be a deck on top that you. Welcome. It's gonna have rails around it so you don't fall off. You get excited about that part? Yeah, so up there. the time to put sheet metal on the trailer uh, so it's all welded we got the frame all painted out and we're hanging sheet metal we're using 20 gauge sheet metal we have to cut it fit it and we're riveting it with the quarter inch rivets with the compressed rivet gun right now I'm going to apply this panel bonding to the frame before we rivet it, the sheet metal to the frame permanently got my man up here we got the clamps up there holding it. My man right here, G. You gonna hold it up? We need about three people to install something like this. Riveting these panels, it's always best to start in the center and work your way out from the center. Gotta look it down to Texas.
Once we marked our middle of our sheeting where we want our rivet, because we want all our rivets to be uniform. So we're starting here in the center. We're using quarter inch rivets, so make sure you drill a quarter inch hole before you apply your rivet. Put your rivet in the hole. Make sure that it sits flush on the sheet metal and press the trigger. Just like that. Has about 600 sheer pounds of pressure before this rivet fell. Times that by all the rivets we put in it, we can drive 100 miles an hour and not even worry about it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five rivets, sir, please. I'll place them in the hole, and I'm ready to catch that. Right, so we move the cast, and move on to the next. I also apply panel bonding on here on the top. We remove these clamps, apply some panel bonding, and voila. That's how we do it in So if you wanna if, if you wanna hear the difference between adding a panel bond and not adding a panel bond.
for Cut out for the window right here. Do not wear a muscle shirt. This is what not to do when cutting metal. <laughs> <laughs> This is a stunt devil right here. Stunt devil. Do not do it at home. <laughs> Color the paint is maybe black. We're gonna paint it all out. Give it a nice paint job, stainless steel counters. So here it is. It's eight foot tall from the from the floor. From the floor, we're gonna replace the floor, but that'll be the last thing. So from the from the floor decking to the top's eight foot. So you know I could I can stretch over here, I can cook them tacos, I can do cartwheels when I'm making that money at the end of the day. Plenty of room. And, and right here, this is what you need right here. You need, you need working boots, you need blue jeans, and you need like a long sleeve shirt, and some working gloves right here. Working gloves. Matching working gloves. Not shorts, not tennis shoes, not muscle shirts. All that dumb shit. You're not ready to work and show up like that. Ain't that right? You can wear the chanclas, right, on your day off. See, today's the day off, so there you go. bigger bit and put the rivets. It's a process. Probably takes some, you know, take some time. So this thing right now has over over 400 rivets as we speak. 400 rivets. You gotta manually put each one in there. Good thing we have a compressed to show them the rivet gun. That's the rivet gun right there. It's worth every penny. Without that, let's like that. So yeah, I'm gonna drill drill some holes for the for the rivets. So make sure you start with the smaller drill bit, which is considered a pilot a pilot bit. Of course, the bigger, the bigger fish. No, no, no. Now check this out. Put it down there. See that? That's not a good idea right there. Many things that could go wrong when you're trying to do work. And that right there will make the ladder slip out and you'll fall your ass. So, uh, that's one of the things of many that you gotta watch out for. Also, I need some glasses. Can I have your glasses, sir, please?
visitors over here. Check them out. Check them out, the visitors. People stop by because they see you making something great. What's up? And they want to know what that is. They're like, oh shit, what is that? That's what it is. What's up? Doing What's blood? the deal, man? Y'all doing a blog or what? Check it Not much closer to serving some tacos. We're gonna give an automotive finish on a budget. Got the Harbor Freight gun. Got some primer, but it's Rostolium. It's not that automotive primer. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna make this thing look good. If your prep is right, then the paint is right. Feel what I'm saying? Gonna be the trailer for 